Don Mancini, writer director, Cult of Chucky. Hi, I'm Jennifer Tilly. I play Tiffany in the Chucky franchise. I also play Jennifer Tilly in the Chucky franchise. It's a little confusing, I know, but I'll get used to it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm Fiona Duriff. I just I play Nika in the Chucky franchise. What do you think? As a lifelong horror fan, I dreamed of maybe uh, creating something that 30 years later would still be talking about, but um, I never really thought it would happen, so I feel kind of like I won the lottery. <laughs> it's so funny because Don came up with the Chucky concept right out of college. I mean, he was a little wet behind the ears. I was in ears. college. Well, yes. he was in college. I was college. in college. Yes. Don't age me on this. I will <laughs> not. But he's been doing the Chucky movies for 30 years, and he is a horror fan, so he knows what the fans like. And also that he wrote every single movie, which I think most of the major four franchises have been reinvented by different brains, but Chucky has stayed. Um, there's one mind behind all of them. For Even though like, it's been reinvented. <laughs> one twisted, one twisted mind. mind. So he got super meta and he decided to put me in the movie and I'm Jennifer Tilly playing Tiffany in the movie version of Chucky. And then I was like, make me a horrible diva from hell. And he's like, yes, I'll make you say really evil things and be mean to everybody. And then I'm told the first script came back from Universal and they go, Jennifer is so unlikable. Can you rewrite it and make her really nice? And he's like, well, I'll try, but you know, I'm trying to write the real Jennifer Tilly. The main thing was that she was so great in Bride that, yes. and my favorite uh -huh. part of Bride was the first 30 minutes when she's mm. Tiffany in the flesh before mm. she becomes the oh doll. Oh my God, definitely. So I just, and she's such a great physical comedian. Mm -hmm. I just thought like, I want to build a movie uh, around that while well, I have that opportunity. Giggling. So. Yes. That's where the where I just like she'll play herself. We'll set it in Hollywood. We'll do the Wes Craven's it. new Nightmare Meta thing. Yeah, it was it was fantastic. You know, one of the nice things about having a franchise is that you got a, you have a lot of ideas, but certain specific ideas, scenes, set pieces, even characters might not work for the specific movie that you're doing at the time. So all you have to do is just put it in a file and come back to it 10 years later, two, two movies down, I mean, which is- For example, oh, can I interrupt you? <laughs> Please, I'm so, I was hoping you would. For example, the scene where Tiffany dies in the bathtub, he originally was gonna have the babysitter die, where Chucky throws the television into the bathtub. I'm sure I died much more spectacularly than that babysitter ever could, but it's, uh, for one yeah, reason or another- That yeah. was Di Dynaman uh -huh. death from the first movie. Right. Yeah, she ended up going out the window, which was cool mm. in and of itself. Right. I think that is the way that Jennifer Tilly should die. In yes. a bubble bath. It was so bath. sexy. Yeah. It was like, ah, just it was legs and bubbles. glamorous. And then the doll is like, oh, it's so beautiful, the bubbles. I loved it. <laughs> And it was hard because the Chucky doll, the puppeteers used to like practice with the Chucky doll in between scenes. So in that scene, he was walking around. He walks up to me. I'm in the bathtub. I can't get out because I'm naked. And he's doing this, <laughs> checking the water, and he's like winking at me. And I got really nervous. I was going, hello, is Chucky plugged in somewhere? Because I thought, <laughs> Maybe Art was gonna imitate life and Chucky was gonna electrocute me by like testing the water. Yeah. Come to think of it, it mm -hmm. would have been good publicity. It would have been, but that's not like, I really don't want the headlines. Jennifer dies in a Chucky movie for real. Brad Dourif kills Jennifer Tilly. Yes. <laughs> for reals. Uh, for reals, for reals. There, there's a lot of stuff that like, the seeds of which were planted in my original script for the first Chucky, that I'm paying off now. We've run the gamut from straightforward horror to horror comedy to farce and back again. And what does Martha tell you to do when guests drop by for dinner and you haven't had time to shop? You improvise. It was this really cool thing about me when I was in junior high school and high school where it was like boys would be like, oh yeah, her dad's Chucky. And it made them want to date me a little bit more, I think. I had this like spooky vibe. But then when I got cast, I was even more afraid. So he's a walking, talking puppet and um, his mouth moves, but also they play his voice. And then there's this moment where, you know, Chucky's taunting me and it, is my dad's voice, which I, is just the, the most kind of surreal, eerie, uncomfortable, helpful thing about the movie, where it's so unsettling because Help, me and my mean, dad are really close. Helpful in the sense that it helps. It, it helps it me be afraid of it, yeah, because yeah, I'm not afraid of Chucky. <laughs> Chucky.
Chucky's a really versatile character. We can sort of plug him into any genre. Therefore, I don't know that I would never say never to any of them. I would say probably the unlikeliest is Chucky in space. Some like little kids could give the crew of the space shuttle a Chucky doll yeah. and go out in space. Yeah. Just the, oh, the, the just the image space. of Chucky floating in space. That's I mean, it's ridiculous, spooky. but it's also kind of that could be a short. delectable. That could be an Academy Award nominated what short. What everybody's going to get from this interview is Chucky, Chucky in, space in space is next. <laughs> Chucky in space. Chucky in space is not, is not next. next. Cult of Chucky is out now on Blu-ray Digital and it's really good. Yes. It's really fun and it's really good and we think you'll like it. <laughs>